823, nine degrees. Uh, yeah, we missed a couple of goals here. <laughs> Uh, it's 5-1 right now, Blackfoot over Mindapur. Uh, there's Nick, my son just took a hit behind the net. There you go, number six. <laughs> I'm a little distracted by the game. This is uh, day five of the BT Outdoor Classic. This is our second game this morning. Uh, it was close. It was 1-1 after the first period, but Blackfoot coming on strong. Yes, and Coach Ted is having a bit of a difficult time here oh, yeah. in the studio because you guys, he's actually making some observations. <laughs> he wishes he was on the bench so he could express it to the he team. We went through this earlier this week when Mookie from KISS 95, that was on Friday, he showed up, he was doing half of his job, and Ted's doing repeat performance now because he cannot keep his <laughs> eyes off the screen. He got a laser in, on, one job at a time. We got you covered here, Ted, got a replay for you. I believe the score is now up there at 5-1. to one. Blackwood Chiefs over in Midnapur, and here is that replay. The Dipsy Doodle, and Brendan Rapp, number Ooh, five! Nice I like that, I like that. Slides on through from 16. Garris in New Orleans. It's, it's, it's been a good game, though. All in said, uh, all said and told, 5-1. Lots of action, and the kids are having a blast. Got the forecast for you, and you know what? It's a nice break this year to be indoors. Usually we're indoors if it's about minus 45 degrees with wind chill. This year indoors because it has been so warm that those ODRs, Dave will tell me that means outdoor rinks. Uh, have been melting, so we don't have the outdoor rinks. Seven-day forecast with that high of nine gorgeous degrees through the afternoon period here in the city. Got that north, uh, west, northwest breeze about 30. With that nine, look for that chance for some showers into the afternoon. Changing the flurries overnight, kind of a winter-like one on Wednesday, minus six. Snow flurries, and then again clearing late day on Wednesday. Thursday, minus four, part of cloudy, minus six on Friday. Plus three on the way to Sunday, Monday, minus three with a sun cloud mix. Never know who you're going to meet up here. Got fans from both mid and Blackfoot up here, the Blackfoot Chiefs. And uh, Shelly and Bree, I uh, want to ask you a couple things here about the life of a hockey parent. What is the biggest misconception you get? <laughs> the parents. They say the parents aren't great, but the parents are awesome. It's really great. Really great. And uh, the coffee consumption goes through the roof, I would think, Bree. The hours you put in, could you put a uh, number on the amount of hours you spend traveling into the rinks on a weekly basis? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. really? It's a it's lot. Five days a week for her. She's got two in soccer and one in dance. So if it was a two in hockey. Two in hockey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Two in hockey, one in Like dance. a part time job. Oh, pretty much. <laughs> Doesn't pay quite as well? No. <laughs> no, apparently not. The tip of the hat to all the hockey parents on out there. You've got some guests with you, Joe. We certainly do. Uh, we have Kate, Brianna, is that right? James and Taylor, along with Lenny. Uh, good morning, you guys. Who are you guys cheering for today? Minnipore Mavericks. Minnipore Mavericks. All right, loud in the back. We like that. Uh, you guys are cheering these guys on. How cool is it to be able to watch this game on TV? Really cool. It's pretty cool. And do you guys watch a lot of hockey? Yeah. Yeah, and who are you cheering for especially? Which player? Um, Dylan Mobat. And is that your brother? Yeah. You go to a lot of games? Yeah. You do? Don't I kid Yes, they do. Great. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> okay, and who are you cheering for, sweetheart? I'm cheering for the Minden for Mavericks. And which player specifically? Uh, Jackson Tursa. Okay, awesome. And what is the experience like here for you to have the kids uh, be able to participate in a tournament like this? You know, it's a great, great opportunity, and we're just thankful that you guys hold this uh, tournament up every five years. Or Every year, I guess. Every year for yeah. the last five years, and it does really get better every single year. Yeah, we have so much support from the community, so it's fun for us, too. A lot of fun on down here at the uh, Southland Arenas, at Wayland Arena, to be specific. We'll have more details, score updates, more weather and traffic coming up in a bit right now.